Hi guys, so here's the new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from DXM decals. So here we have a set for a Phantom in 148 scale and to be specific it will be handy with the F4B and F4J. So in 148 scale as it's written here you can use it with Academy, Hasegawa, Italeri, Revel, Tamiya and even Zoki Mura Kids. So quite a wide choice especially considering that also some brands released uh, new plastic kits recently so this set will help you to replicate something different from what you get in the standard out of the box marking options and that's why I decided to take a closer look this is completely fresh release as you can see 2023 and of course it is printed with help of cartograph so the packaging here is quite typical and we have a transparent plastic bag so we can see this application manual as well as decal through the rear side and also do not worry about overall packaging so this envelope is quite sturdy as you can see it's not that flexible and also the envelope which is um, packed or uh, which is housing this uh, decal set is also quite sturdy so everything should arrive to you without any bending or other unnecessary damages and this is a resealable plastic bag so it's easy to open that's what we are going to do right now and in the meantime I can remind you that we also were checking some other DXM products so they are really good for modelers who would like to work on the jet aircraft and I definitely recommend to check them and now we are going to start with the decal sheets there are two of them and again I remind you that they are printed in cartograph so here we have the first one and I guess I will have to close the lenses a bit so that you can see all of the symbols because some of them are white and maybe let's zoom out a bit so here we have uh, the anti-slip areas and this ones I'm not sure if it would be worth to uh, use them as a decals maybe it would be wiser to have them masked and airbrushed but who knows I know some modelers actually um, have a good results uh, using such decals and this decals actually look like painted on the model it's so it's definitely up to you and also here you can see that we have some of these areas with the stencils on them so this might be a bit more tricky and if I zoom in here you can take a closer look at the printing quality so all of these stencils look really good and I think it's really important for a 148 scale because uh, this is the size where all of these tiny writings uh, start to actually matter they are visible they are readable and that's why I always happy to see such thing in the decal set because still some aftermarket decals manufacturers or printers they skip on the stencils which is rather surprising especially nowadays so here we continue with the second decal sheet so here we have all of the remaining symbols and writings for the aircraft as you can see aircraft numbers also various symbols and of course uh, stars which are typical for USN and USMC aircraft and if I zoom in again here you can take a closer look at the printing quality of all of the symbols so again everything looks really good I do not see any possible problem with these decals so what is required is the careful application of these decals on your aircraft and you will be good to go and by the way note that here for example we have the uh, decals printed as the single piece decals I can see that they have the uh, what's a numbering for them at least on some of those I can see the uh, decal numbers but let me check the previous decals sheet so here we also have no there is actually no no, there are. Um, um, so if I bring it closer here, you can see that some of the decals they have the numbering, but some of them do not. So that's why you have to be careful while working with all of this stuff. But again, I wanted to say that some of the symbols are pre cut in the necessary manner, but I guess it's not the case with the Phantom. So who knows? At least these areas, as you can see, they have the cutout. So maybe this will come handy but again overall I like what I see here and this is definitely a good thing for a uh, high quality build and again I will repeat myself that in 148 scale it makes or it gets a bit more important than in the smaller scales in my opinion so that's why it's nice to see such thing out of the package. 
Next, we continue with this thing. So, as you remember, it was serving as a, let's say, cover or a box art, if you prefer. And you can also notice that we have five marking options in total. In 148 scale, this is quite a generous choice, I would say, especially with the size of the symbols you saw a few seconds ago. So, now we get the assembly manual in a quite interesting way, because, as you can see, it's a fold-out uh, brochure. And here, for example, we have profiles for each of the markings i would say they're quite understandable so i don't think you will have any issues here and again uh, each of the marking options uh, has the necessary naming and year as you can see but there is no history note so in case you would like to learn more definitely find some reference material maybe this will also help you with the weathering ideas and maybe with the painting ideas on your aircraft because definitely this aircraft do not stay factory fresh so maybe you will be able to replicate various scratches just like on the real photos and this aircraft as far as you can see are mainly coming from 60s and 70s but this one is outlier as you can see it's 1981 so if you know more about this one definitely feel free to write in the comment section i would be happy to learn something new because i'm not such a huge specialist on the phantoms and here we continue with something more interesting so we have top and bottom views of the marking options uh, so here we have four of them and this one is i don't know why but it is given a bigger look and here you can see what is what and how the stencils should be applied so as far as as you can understand we get all of the necessary stencils for the aircraft and i think also no for the fuel tank we only get these symbols of the hulk and that's pretty much all which is rather surprising and here on the rear side we also get the uh, navy science placement as well as these danger signs and stencils on the side of the aircraft so this one is also quite understandable i don't think you have any issues in uh, getting what you have to do here and there so it's just a matter of applying all of these decals and again these decals were printed in cartograph so i don't think you need to use the decal softening solution but i still know some others uh, use it in order to get a bit more sophisticated finish because it makes uh, decals a bit more um let's say coordinated with the surface it's up to you uh, you can also check the result and then decide whether you would like to make it even more impressive with help of decal softener and as for this set it should be already available so as you can see the set number is 314261 so you can order it directly from the manufacturer website meaning the xm decals of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do you prefer to use aftermarket decals on your aircraft build? Write it here in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us greatly. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.